Today I'm working on a 2007 GMC Acadia. The uh, throttle pedal has gone bad. Uh, I have uh, two codes I found, a P1516 and then a P2135, uh, indicating that it's the pedal. Uh, it goes into a reduced service mode, a limp mode. Anyhow, uh, finding these parts were uh, a real pain. The part they list for it is a plastic pedal. The plastic is totally different mounting. Everything's different about it. But yet, that's what comes up. That's what they sell you. You get back, you know, uninstall this, and then you find out, well, it's not the right one. Round and round I won. Every single part store, every part store in uh, Rockford here where I live in Illinois, nobody had it. Uh, O'Reilly's ordered one up. They would have it. Uh, it would take them four or five days. AutoZone would take them a week or more. Um, the first one I bought was Amazon. Said it would fit it. Came in. It was plastic. Didn't line up. That's when I discovered this. So I went round and round by photograph, another GM part. It is identical, different part number. Um, that's the one I ordered. I'm going to try to put it in and see if it works. So beware if you have one of these. There's two different styles. They mainly use the plastic arm, um, but not all of them. The top part number is mine, 103.74.101. The one I ordered is a 227.06224. And you can see this one is the same, but is a different part number. Quality isn't quite the best. You can see the uh, overstaking with the heat there, but that won't affect anything. And there's the original. And this is supposed to be a GM part, not a off brand. Well, let's go install it. Okay. You're going to have three bolts to get in there. And it's tough. It's up here where the bolts go in sideways. And there's really not much room at all. We're going to try to get a good view of this. Probably will have to turn off the recording because I get, I'm going to need two hands to get these in. Okay, I got her back up in there. She's plugged in, ready to go. Let's give it a test. Okay, here we go. Seems to work fine. No issue. So with that being said, some of the parts aren't always um, Listen, it might be at the beginning of a year, end of a year, they're using a different one. They may have ran out of parts and couldn't get them and used these and adapted them. Made, you know, a mounted a bracket under here that may fit three different vehicles. So I think that's what we got going on. Uh, mainly I made this video is to beware of this before you go to work on this one. If you have those codes, check that if it's a metal one. Use that part number uh, that I gave you. I'll uh, put it in the description there. I'll uh, add a link to Amazon for that one. And uh, it'll make it much easier. Okay, vehicle checked out. Everything works fine. Um, they may have had a, a, diff a change of uh, 
Oh, uh, manufacturing the parts or something during production and used them from a different vehicle that swapped in there, ran out of parts, who knows what it is. But just beware, that's the reason I made the video, is if you got to work on one of these, before you take that part out, uh, do a little research there, because if it's a metal pedal, um, I'll list the uh, where I got it from on Amazon and all the part numbers. Um, but the normal one that they use is the plastic one and it's much cheaper. This one here, I think I got it on Amazon for around a hundred dollars. Um, O'Reilly's was going to bring one in for me. That was $157. So a big difference there. Exact same part. Um, just be 